Welcome, everyone. So it's another exciting week. I cannot believe we are in week six already. And I want to thank you, first of all, for all the hard work that you've done up to here. And I, I understand when you have an online class and there isn't a lot of interaction with each other, it can be a little bit challenging. But remember that I am here to help you in any way that I possibly can. So what I want to do here is just help out with exception handling. And I'm going to start off with something that's very common and I'm not a big fan of it, but a lot of people use it. So let's just talk about it for a minute in here. I have this commented out here. This is directly from Sidebooks 8.31 and it tells you about this. Uh, it's got SS exception. We're not gonna use SS exception because we're not using the stream that they're using there. So they're using a string stream. We're not gonna be using that in this one, but let's just go and look at a simple way that a lot of people work with. So let's just go to integer number and we're gonna do C in or C out rather. Enter a number and notice that I do not put an end line on there. So it's very important. So please make sure when you submit code, you do not put an end line on a prompt. So it makes it a little bit more confusing when the user has to look and there's a input on the bottom left of the screen in here. So let's just leave the end line out in here and then we're gonna do C in and we'll do num. So what's gonna happen is if we pipe in an A instead of a number, the system's gonna crash. So what, let's go and run it and let's just do just that and see what happens. I need to put my return here. So let's see what happens here. Now notice we don't have any exception handler here. I'm typing in enter number, I'm gonna type in ABC and wow, nothing happened. So we're not good here. So let's go and write a little bit of code that something is very common and we're just gonna do if cn.fail and let's just put, oops, forgot my little, parentheses and let's just put C out sorry bad input please re-enter and let's see what that does obviously I need to take spelling lessons or typing lessons or both so let's go and try this and see what happens I'm guessing right now that we should have an issue with this and let's go and see if we do it all. So enter a number, let me type in ABC and oh, sorry, bad input, but it doesn't let us do that. So we're, we're not good here. So let's try this. Let's go and go and do a C out in here and let's just try a while see and fail and see what happens here while see and fail and let's put in here enter a number and we'll enter the number here now obviously if c and fails we have to re enter it so let's put it here again we'll put in an end line And let's see what happens now. So we have, and remember, let's do ABC. And wow, that's not any good. So what happened there? Well, why did that not work? And that's because we didn't clear the error code. And what we want to do here is just simply click on, let's go, enter a number. Sorry, bad input. Let's just do cn dot clear and see if that resolves anything. And let's go. We have enter number. We do ABC. 
Well, that's of no value. So let's try one more thing. Let's just do cn dot ignore. And let's put in, say, like 100 characters. I know some people like to use max, but I'm not really sure. <laughs> you need to go up to that amount. So let's see what happens here. So the C in clear is going to clear the error bit. And this is going to get rid of whatever's in the keyboard buffer. And we have it here. And let's go and try this and see what happens. So we're going to do ABC and it says, sorry, bad. So that's a good sign. So now we have to work on something, a few other things. So let's just go and type in one, two, three, space, ABC. In fact, let's get rid of the space and see what happens. So now we crash. So this really did not help us any. So let's go and try to do something a little bit different. Now, had we typed in one, two, three, ABC, we'd be in good shape. But we have a kind of a dilemma here. So what we want to do is a try and a catch. And that's what this exercise is all about. So let's go and make some modifications. And the first thing we're going to do is get rid of this. And we're going to change it to CN. So we're going to do CN. And the fail bit is what's going to be set if we have an issue with entering something. So I believe the assignment asks to keep entering until the, the string is 999. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let's just go and catch our numbers. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in a try. And then I will put this in here. And then what we need is a catch. So what we want to do here is we want to catch um, a failure in here. So that's, that's what's going to get thrown if we put in a character instead of a number. So let's go and try this out here. So it's a little bit different. We're going to put in two dots, and then we're going to type in failure. And then we're going to basically do the same thing. So let's go with C out, sorry, bad input. C in clear, and we'll try this again. Now, there's different things that we can do here. What you normally want to do is you want to have this inside of the while loop, the try in here. So let's get rid of this here. We don't really need this anymore. So let's just put this inside of a while loop, and we're going to make it with the number. So let's do while the number, let's say, well, a negative number is going to end input. In your particular case, it's going to be, I believe, minus 999 or uh, minus 1. So let's go and do while num is greater than 0. Now. Remember, what we're going to have here is uh, an issue. So let's run this right now, and let's see what the issue is going to be. And these are all things you want to take into consideration. So everything looks good. All we have to do is put in a negative number, and it's going to end. And let's see what happens. See if we even run this over here. And if not, let's find out why. And absolutely nothing happened. Well, that's not really very helpful. So let's look at, ah, look at this. We have number is equal to zero, and number is not greater than zero. Uh, so we can just put in while number equals. But why don't we do this? Why don't we say while number is less than zero, 
That way, any negative number is going to end it. So let's try this right now. And we're still going to have an issue because right now we don't have anything in here. So while number is great, less than zero. So let's go and run this and see what actually happens. So right now we have zero. So what I always like to do is see something to make sure that we don't have any kind of strange things. So I'm gonna put neg um, num equals zero. Even though I put it up here, right outside the while loop that way i know that it's not going to be less than zero i don't have to take anything for granted so let's go and see what happens see if we actually run it and nothing actually happens here so now we have a dilemma why is this not working so what we have to do back is let's go and do while num um let's let's make it a hard code value here and see what happens And let's keep putting things until while it does not equal zero and it does equal zero. So why don't we do it does not equal minus nine, nine, nine. So let's see what happens here. So now we have a number. So what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, let's enter ABC and see what happens says sorry bad input re-enter so if you take a look at what happened here is whenever you try to put in a character for an input for a c in integer you're going to get an issue so in this particular case this is the issue that gets thrown in here and so you're putting in your own error message but because we have it inside of a while loop we're good to go it's going to keep going and doing it so let's go and try it again and then we'll do uh, 50 and see how that works. And now we got minus 50, then we have 125, and now let's try minus 999, and we're done. So that's how you can catch things. Now there's some little tricks and things along the way. So I'm gonna leave you with this. I believe this should help you in here. Remember, you're going to have to do something different. You're gonna have to put in an item name and while well, it's number one and some other things in here. So, but this should get you started in here. You can modify your own code. Remember when you send the code to me, you're gonna wanna put in comments. So here are things that I'm gonna be looking for. Is there an end line at the end in here? So please do not do that so you don't lose any points. And this should be a fairly simple assignment, not as crazy as the last one is with all the different class that you had to create in the three different files. This one should be a little bit more simple for you, a little break in the action. So what you're gonna do here is understand that it's really very simple. And then I'm gonna come back with a part two of this video and show you how you can fix some other bad inputs and we can work on that. But for right now, we're good to go. Hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. If you have an issue, you know where to find me.